video is going to be about the app uh, or another app to embed into Microsoft Teams uh, called Miro. Um, and that can be accessed from the plus symbol at the top. So you click onto here. Uh, you can see that it already appears in my sort of recent apps, uh, but you can just type Miro and find it. OK, when you first add the app, it will require you to set up an account as an educator. Um, and that can all be done in the command box on here. Um, I quite like this app so far. Uh, I have watched a couple of videos on YouTube to find out more about it. Um, it looks quite sort of simple to start with, but there are a lot of hidden features. Um, and it, it, it is basically, uh, I suppose, a space, uh, an unlimited space that you can uh, add lots of activities or design work to. Um, and the main thing is, you know, the apps that I'm looking at are all about integration, collaboration. And through remote learning, I suppose the problems that I quite often find or hear from teachers is that you can screen share, you can do a demonstration, uh, but the hard thing is about tracking the engagement of the pupils afterwards. That's what I'm looking for. You know, that's what I'm looking for in the apps that I'm reviewing, um, which apps will work well for design and technology activities, but can also be adapted for uh, other subject areas too. So what I like to see uh, when I'm looking through these apps um, is that you can, you, you have a variety of options of, of what you can import into the space um, that you can interact with uh, and that you can also add all of your students of the group and you can see how they are engaging with the app at the same time. Now that's where I quite like this Miro uh, app and the fact that it works well with a uh, pen enabled device as well. That's very important to me uh, in design and technology uh, because any of these drawing apps or apps that allow you to have a pen tool um, there are key things that i look for and one of them is that you can change the thickness of the nib uh, so that helps when generating design ideas onto a board uh, but also that it works well with a pen enabled device uh, because that's where most of our pupils will be doing their design work from so i've opened it up on the ipad as well as having it open on here and i'm just going to talk a little bit about the sort of interface at the moment. So as you can see, this is opened up within my team. So the pupils can just click on the link that will appear at the top uh, for your named board. So I've just named it as a 9.8. If you have got several boards, they will appear here and you can switch between them. Uh, you can export the board afterwards and you've obviously got your undo and redo function. You've got your main tools down on the left hand side. Some of them are quite uh, recognizable, self-explanatory. So you've got your selection arrow, uh, you've got your text tool. Um, what I quite like on here is the range of templates. So you can start off with a pre-built template and there are loads of them. They are quite basic, uh, but you can go through and you can start to explore and see which ones will be quite good uh, for your subject area. Uh, so if I go on to uh, research and design and I might go on to a user story map, um, you can click on show preview or you can add the frame into here so it does this one in particular is obviously pre-built uh, some of the sticky notes that are in here and you've got some titles down on the left hand side but you can create your own uh, template if you want to now if i want to get rid of this um, i can hold shift and i can drag to select the whole lot and delete so we'll have a look at the tools that are on the left hand side so to start with uh, we've had a look at the templates you've got your text tool so i can create some text and you have got the options to uh, change your font, change your text size, uh, and so on. Um, insert links behind there, which is pretty handy. Uh, changing the colours, but also another important one as an educator is is the ability to lock um, some of the work that you do on the board because you, if you've got so many collaborators on the page, uh, you don't want them uh, messing around with whether it's accidental or not, but messing around with any of the pre-built content. So, for example, on this one, if I uh, choose uh, analysis and I increase the size of it and I decide that I'm going to move that into the middle so I'm happy with that I'm going to move it like that. I'm going to move it into the middle here now if I want the pupils to add some sticky notes around it these seem to be quite a key thing with any of these kind of I suppose business uh, meeting apps uh, that you know can relate to the classroom quite well um, I can Click onto the sticky note and obviously you have your different types and um, so I can drop one in there and I can type into it and um, so if I'm analyzing the particular task I might have a think about who my user is 
Um, you can change the size, the fill color. Um, you can add a particular person. Uh, so tagging that person on there, uh, add your emojis, lock, lock the particular sticky note as well. You do get more options behind here, which are quite good. I quite like the, the sort of copying and duplicating options that are on there, uh, but I'm gonna leave that one as it is. The other feature that I like about this one is that you can do bulk mode. So you can, if you've got lots of answers straight away, you can say, right, well, user, I'm gonna look at the materials. I am going to also, uh, oops, sorry. I'll just look at the function, uh, and I should press enter be able to create another one. So if, let's say um, cost, for example, there. So that will do two at once. So that can speed up the process. Now I can move those around uh, my analysis uh, mind map, uh, if you want on here. Um, you can also do shapes. Uh, so you've got your basic shapes on there or all shapes. Uh, you've got some connection arrows, uh, which are quite good because if you want to connect one up to another, uh, it doesn't matter where you move uh, the sticky note itself. It will adjust the arrow as well. So you can actually get it to uh, move around other objects if you want to. If you select the arrow, you get your, your nodes or anchor points so you can uh, modify those too. Uh, you can change the arrow type um, and then when you get onto the pen tool, as I said before, something that's very important to me is being able to modify the thickness of the pen. You've also got a smart drawing tool too. Now if I use a smart drawing tool, because using uh, a mouse is not great for drawing, uh, I can draw a square here and it should hopefully update it. Okay, so we've got a circle, maybe there's not quite a connection in my square there. Let's try it again. There we go. Okay, so you've got the smart drawing tool. Um, as I said, I prefer to draw on the iPad. So if I go over to my iPad now, uh, it's just connecting to this particular board. Uh, and then I should be able to select the pen tool. And obviously I can use my Apple Pencil. So I get a lot more freedom with how I draw onto this board. So if I am drawing or sketching onto here, uh, I can do with, with quite some ease. Uh, you might have to draw, uh, turn off the smart drawing function uh, when you're using your pen, uh, if you want quite a bit of freedom around it. Now you can see how quickly it updated on here as well. Um, another thing to note is that when you have got a whole class involved, there'll be little circles with their uh, initials up here and you can turn on uh, to see their cursor. So you can see almost like a swarm of bees flying around the screen and you can, you can see who's actually engaged with the page. Uh, you can add comments uh, to items as well, which I quite like. Uh, so if I wanted to add a comment onto here, I could tag somebody in it. Uh, obviously this is just a dummy group, so I haven't got members in there, uh, but I could say uh, this needs more detail. And I could click on there. Now it gives the option to resolve it. So somebody could reply uh, to my comment and they could click on resolve. So that's quite good for, for monitoring where you've, you've kind of assessed the work and whether or not they have um, reacted to that assessment. Because that's another issue, I suppose, is, you know, we mark the work, but you know, are they being given a chance to actually reflect upon it and adjust it? Now, when we get down here, we've got frames. Now the frames uh, allow you to drop in um, sort of pre-measured workspaces, so an iPad, for example, so that you can see how big you're building your, your work area. Uh, you can upload uh, from your device by URL, save files, but there's more options as well. Now, I quite like things like the web page capture, um, because you can drop that into here and you can choose a particular website or web page, uh, and if people are interacting with each other's work then you know as we all know uh, you know it sparks a bit of inspiration so i might think of a particular website that would be useful uh, and i can drop that as a screenshot into that now down at the bottom we've got our presenting tools 
which I quite like as well, because depending on how large your page is, as I said, it's quite a, a kind of real time, infinite workspace. Um, you can select sections and create them quickly into a presentation. Uh, you can create a chat onto the page as well. Uh, and there are other options, obviously screen sharing and monitoring the activity too. Okay, so overall, I think this is um, a nice one, probably on a, on a par with some of the others that I've used. Um, the more we use it and the more we, we actually test them out in the lessons, we can see about how well they function. I mean, I understand the app a little bit more just from watching a couple of tutorial videos. Um, we obviously have to then deliver that tutorial to the, to the pupils um, and how well they pick that up, how well they engage with it. Um, can only be seen from the actual interaction and the lesson activity. Uh, but as I said, I do quite like this one, quite like all the options that are in there, the fact that you can modify the pen tool um, and the fact that you can lock items that you've already put on there, add comments and allow them to resolve them.